Hello everyone, so in this tutorial, I'll be guiding you in creating your first own full 2D drawing of a character in Flash. In the end, our result will look something similar to this, which is basically an orthographic view of a character. For instance, we have a clear view of the front as well as the side. So I've already created a rough sketch of Ang from Avatar, which we will use in this exercise. I'll also upload the link below which you could use to follow along. So with that in mind, why don't we go ahead and get started. Alright, so once you've got your flash open, go ahead and click on Action Script 3.0. So basically we've got a page here. We need to make that page bigger so it fits the front and the side of the character. So what you'll do is right click on the page, click on Document Properties. We'll change the ruler units to inches will basically make a landscape version of a standard uh, white printer paper so normally it's eight and a half times eleven so instead we'll do eleven times eight and a half and hit OK second thing you'll do is import the ang front view on the stage so file import to stage I've got mine saved on the desktop, so ang side, sorry, ang front. So we've got an image that's of high resolution, so we'll need to make that scaled into a shorter version so that it fits our stage. So click on the image here, hit Q on your keyboard. In other words, we'll activate the transform tool, which is right here. And always hold shift and then drag this. To, to make it smaller or the other thing you might need to do is zoom out a little bit so hit control minus on your keyboard or you could always manually put the, uh, the percentage here so let's put 20 percent there you go so of course we'll make, need to make this way smaller so hold shift and drag alright so once you're happy with this Zoom back in, so control plus. Okay, so there we go. So the first thing we'll need to do is get ourselves organized. As you can see, Ang is placed on layer one. So let's just call this reference front. Let's go ahead and log this so we can't move this picture anymore. Create a new layer on top and call this Ang or whatever your character name is and front so we'll be doing all the drawing within this layer so the first thing you may have noticed within the drawing is that this side of the character is unfinished reason for that is because our character is symmetrical we could actually focus on only drawing the right side of them and towards the end we'll simply duplicate that side to the other this will make our character proportional and symmetrical, saving us a lot of time and effort. So to begin, I want you to click on the line tool and change the color of the line to something like red or blue, as long as it's different from the actual reference um, line so you don't get yourself mixed up. Alright, so if you do see this menu, um, change the thickness of it to something like 0. 5, just so that it's not too thick and giving us more accuracy and as always make sure you've got your proper layer selected in this case it's the front and not the reference layer which is locked and go ahead and click on the line tool and zoom out on the character's face which is where we'll begin So because we'll mainly be using the line tool here, I'll be showing you a few techniques that you could pretty much use to draw the whole character. Um, for instance, the line tool works in two ways. It works in creating perfect lines, or you could actually also make curves line by simply selecting your selection tool, the mouse tool, and click on the line and drag it. All right. Um, just remember that if you want to give it more details, for instance, making his head, you wouldn't be able to do it just with one line and then dragging it. Instead, 
in this case you need to do a few lines see this will make this curve and then this will take care of this line and maybe two more here to make the side of his face and his chin and then once you've got your selection tool selected you could go ahead and drag these so it fits your drawing and there you go it was that easy the other thing is once all these lines are connected and you do select it um, in case it doesn't actually pick the whole line at once like it should you could also double click it so it selects the entirety of the connection um, on your tools layer you, c you have these two options here this makes your entire line more straight and this makes it more smooth we'll go ahead and use the smooth option here so you go ahead and click on it see it's actually impacting our line it is making it more round and you could actually click on it more than once so let's go ahead and click on it again and now there's pretty much just one more thing I wanted to show you uh, with this technique um, for instance, once you've got this line, if you want to try to give it the proper details here, and as you can see, it's not fully working out because the whole line is moving. Um, one thing I learned is you could always make a line where you want the focus to be on. So let's say I want to focus on this, and then I want to focus on this part here. So now if you actually move these, it won't go beyond this line so for instance for this one we want this to be more inwards so now we could just select this part and make it more inwards so this one we wanted to make it more outwards so we'll go ahead and select this and push it out a little alright so once all this is done once again we could click on the lines you need to delete and go ahead and remove them and there we go so maybe this needs one more smooth so we'll double click on this and click on smooth one last time and voila we already have the side of Ang's face so now let's go ahead and get started with his eyebrows then we'll move on to the rest of his body okay let's go ahead and zoom in so one okay so now as you can see this is a bit too thick so maybe it would be better off with a smaller line so I'm gonna go ahead and change the thickness to even lower so let's say 0.25 alright so this is a bit thick um, thinner so for this one you might need a couple of lines here okay um, the snap tool kind of helps us, you know, s snapping to the lines here, but sometimes it does get annoying, so you might have to remove it, and this gives you more flexibility, but in most cases, it's okay if it's on. So, once you've got your basic um, rough edges, let's make them smoother. That's pretty much done. All right, so let's go ahead and move in, uh, move on to the eyes. So I'll make actually this even thinner. yeah so basically something like this um, in this instance 
we'll need to create the outer edge of the eye. So instead of drawing this again, we can also select the entire line, Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste it. Click Q on your keyboard or the selection tool and we'll drag this with holding shift to make it a bit bigger and place it on the outside of the eyes just so that it gives it sort of a thickness yeah there we go So now see, as per the drawing, we might not need these outer edges of the lines, so we'll delete these. So again, we'll use the um, separation technique so that we could select these lines only and delete them. Then remove these lines. And we mainly need, yes, yeah, so we don't need this part either, so we'll do the same thing here. Yeah, there you go. So mm, let's go ahead and make this a bit bigger. So as you can see, our edges here are a bit sloppy. So we'll select the whole thing and make it smooth. Alright, so we've got the outside of his eyes. Um, let's make the inside. <laughs> 